And the first kind of wave we're going to look at are longitudinal waves, waves in which it is snapped like that, in which the wave is actually moving lengthwise up and down the spring. So this is stuff like earthquakes, things like sound. One of the ways in which we can demonstrate this is to talk about earthquakes. So we're going to show you an earthquake. I've got some ribbon here. I want to come up towards you a little bit. I'm going to put this ribbon around the spring so that you can see what happens in the spring when this comes by. Okay? Watch what happens to that ribbon when I snap the spring here. When I send a longitudinal wave down the spring. Wow. See how much that goes back and forth? How sharply that moves? Watch that again. You just focus on that ribbon and watch what happens. Can you imagine now if you had a great big tall building, 75 stories high skyscraper, and the bottom of the building moves like that? What's going to happen? Well, you can see that the building's going to fall down, isn't it? In the old days, they used to be able to tell where an earthquake came from because the buildings in different places would have the way they fell pointing towards where the earthquake had come from. And that was called the epicenter. And the epicenter was just the place where the ground slipped and produced the earthquake. But the earthquake is a longitudinal wave, and a longitudinal wave is what does the damage. So you can see something about earthquakes connected with waves. A lot of people don't realize that, that earthquakes are caused by waves. But sound is caused by waves. The same kind of motion that we're talking about here, as the waves are compressed and moved through, they actually travel through the material, just like what you see happening with this spring. So let me ask you something. You're watching a, a movie about a war in space, and somebody blows up a spaceship or something like that, and you hear this huge explosion. Is that what would happen? See, if you're out in space and if there's a big explosion, you don't hear anything. Because there's nothing for the sound to travel through. There's nothing to compress like that. You have to have a material to compress for the wave to travel. So that means that sound doesn't travel in space. Space is absolutely quiet. 